Okay, how's it going everybody? It's Chris. We're back. It's been over a year, so I decided to do another room tour. I've gotten a good amount of stuff within the year, so I decided to just say, hey, all right, let's do another room tour. So without further ado, let's get this shit started. So enough with that intro, let's just move forward to the stuff that's pretty much the same, and that's my Lego stuff. Nothing much has really changed. All my Lego stuff is pretty much the same. As you can see, my Millennium Falcon, I think that's a Millennium Falcon, and some other Star Wars Episode One Lego sets. But if you look up here, there is Jurassic Park toys. Now, I don't remember in the previous room tour that I had this displayed, but I had them displayed, and as you can see, that's, there's spider web on them, so. You can tell that I haven't touched these in a long time. Moving forward with continuation, I decided to put all my knickknacks and toys of just random stuff from Godzilla to vintage toys and this Sonic Boom toy that sucks. And in the background, we have some VHS of Thomas the Tank because, well, I like Thomas the Tank. But if you move forward, you can see that I have a bunch of Rasslin DVDs from different pay-per-views documentaries and a pokeball that has well, well let's see any time now okay we're not gonna waste time we have a poly world in there it's pretty cool picked that up a while back it was pretty cool so yeah a bunch of wrestling stuff that i really like because i well i like wrestling and yeah okay so i gotta hold the camera for this part because well i don't want to stand all the way up there but it's, it's pretty much my collector statues of Black Flag, The Witcher 3, which is a really good game. And Black Flag is a good game. It's really enjoying it. It's my first Assassin's Creed in, game in the series. And I really enjoyed it. The music is dope. And it's pirates, so you can't go wrong. And then we got this Halo helmet that I picked up a while back at a Goodwill. Rest in peace, Goodwill, because they're dead. And moving forward, we have some anime posters of just random anime shit that I accumulated in the in over nine years so I have a lot of anime posters you can see Sonic, Evangelion, some Vampire Knight which well that shit old and my one of my favorite series Rosin Maiden because it's dolls fighting but if you keep on looking forward here's a more gaming collector statues Far Cry 4 which is a really good Far Cry game because well it's the only Far Cry game I played I played Instincts Wait, not Instincts. Yeah, it was Instincts that I played. And it was a pretty decent game, but I prefer Far Cry 4 because it's pretty cool. And we got a Godzilla toy. I forgot which one is that called. We have a... I forgot what that game is called, like 1408, I think. I don't have the game, but I have the statue for some reason, well, because it was on special. We also got the Lego Movie display stand thing I got one time at a convention. And we got some little toppers when I went to go see... Guardians of the Galaxy. It's pretty cool. The Star Lord and the one and only Drax Destor the Destroyer. And what else we got? Well, we got Smeagol, who is a pretty cool character. I got that in a collector set of Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers, I think, or the Fellowship of the Ring. I don't remember. Well, and then we got my boy right here from Watch Dogs. I enjoyed the first Watch Dogs game. It was pretty dope. I thought it was pretty fun. And if you put it in an angle, well, it looks like he's pointing the gun at me when I thought that was pretty funny. So moving forward is that we got a crow statue from the movie The Crow. I know it's a McFarlane toy. Other than that, it looks pretty cool display. I was thinking one day I can hook up some LED lights, some blue lights and make it look pretty cool. And then in the, behind that is my boy, the one and only El Yagami. Wait, not El Yagami. <laughs> Okay, so I remember the name, so it's Light Yagami. I was wrong. And then we got a Haruhi Suzumiya poster that's pretty dope. We got my main girl, Yuki Nagado. So we're just gonna go through the posters really quick. We got a Shauna, a Pokemon poster. We got a Bleach poster because I was into Bleach for one, for a minute and well, I got gave up eventually. And some other posters right there. And then we got a Lady Gaga poster because well, I like Lady Gaga, she's a dope singer. There's a nice voice. And then moving down, we got a Claymore poster, a Bleach poster, a Miku Atsume, D. Grayman, and a Black Rock shirt, which is a dope anime. 
hey, we're back here. Hey, you can see me again. Well, who knows if people want to see me, but so yeah, we got all that side done. So let's move forward to the white shelf, I call. And it's pretty much stuff, just random clutter. This is like a bunch of games that I gotta do a pickups video for. This portable ops, EB Games pre-order exclusive shit that I got one year. And a well, Subway cup because, well, I like Subway. And that's my shit, that's my jam. And what else we got? Uh, uh, a Blockbuster game rental case for S Siphon Filter 2. I still need to get that game. It's really cheap, but for some reason I can't find it for a good price here because, well, Toronto prices are not that good. So moving forward, we got some miscellaneous comic books I just haven't found a place for. We got some oddball stuff. This is, a, this is not like a whole lot of Marvel stuff. This oddball stuff. And then we got this This thing is pretty cool. We just go, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, God. Hey, we're back. So a bunch of shit fell down and I wanted to show you this cool Final Fantasy 7 on PC. It's missing a disc. Well, well, it's a damn shame because I could have installed it into my computer. But yeah, so yeah, just miscellaneous stuff and well, I just picked it up throughout the months. Okay, so we're back. We're back. Second part of the show. So a lot of this is just miscellaneous comic books from IDW, Vertigo, and some other shit like... Oni Press, which I highly recommend this book. It's pretty cool. It's about kaijus. And with the recent movie that just came out, I, got, I had this, it goes in the shell. It's pretty cool. I don't know why I'm showing it, but I thought it was pretty cool. As well, we did a review on it. And if you want to check that, check in the channel. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of DC stuff. I'm trying to collect more DC because I have too much Marvel. But I have mainly some miscellaneous, uh, some Wonder Woman. It's just some oddball shit, and you can't have a comic book collection with the, the c killing joke. Pretty dope. Wasn't a big fan of the story, to be honest, but that's a whole different story. Let's get started on the next part of the shelf. Alright, so here we got mainly art books and some comic books. This is a really cool art book that I highly recommend people check out. It's the Okami art book, and it has some cool arts, and well, yeah. And a lot of cool stuff. I got the Bayonetta one, which is dope. And I got a controller here that's falling. I don't know why. But we got some other stuff. We got some guides, some drawing books, and this Nintendo Power of Mega Man 2. I don't know. I picked that up for two bucks a while back. I thought it was pretty dope. And just some Marvel Essentials, nothing special. We got this, the Death of Superman pretty dope because when you open it well uh, I dropped that shit don't worry about that okay but we got the DVD of the movie Superman Doomsday which is an okay movie I recommend checking it out or well, I gotta put the code back inside okay so yeah that's pretty much it we got a eyeglass cleaner that's cool if you're, like, if you're into that but we got some other cool stuff um uh, pre-order thing, I think, or is part of a collector's edition of Odin Spear, which is pretty dope. Toy Story comic book, and this book that I highly recommend if you're a Sonic fan is the, so the History of Sonic the Hedgehog. I really like this book. It talks about pretty much everything. So down here, well, it's nothing really important. It's just a bunch of miscellaneous crap, my portfolio for work, and just a bunch of random boxes of shit. But what's really cool is say, hey, you can see, you can see my knee. Don't look at that knee. Okay, but moving forward is my Pokemon cards. Nothing really special. Maybe, who knows, maybe one day I can go through all these Pokemon cards. Look, ooh, reverse hollow shroomies. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And some retro Pokemon cards. Not that that new release bullshit, because I don't really give a fuck about that. I'm about that old school shit, like Lieutenant Surge's right shirt, which is pretty dope. Hey, don't worry about that. And other than that, um, oh, fuck, got to fill in time for the camera. <laughs> uh, uh, a binder of, of yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, nobody wants to see it about that. It's all about Pokemon. Guess what? Well, I'm, I'm the king of games, but. Hey, we're back. I'm on this side. Don't worry about that shit that fell down. That's, I blame Jeremy for that. Okay, so without further ado, we got some Marvel stuff. Just some big 
book hardcover stuff this is mostly where the hardcovers are we got some good stuff marvel zombies marvel avengers uh this book that's pretty dope uh, siege i recommend you read siege and the dark avengers which i think part of siege if i can remember some some cool shit uh this book is not a good book this book is poop Damn. uh we got some spooderman stuff x-men days of future past which i highly recommend because well the original series of days of the future past was pretty short so this is good to have but without further ado we got some spooderman i have a lot of wolverine stuff x-23 spider woman and some of the classic storylines of marvel and then we got a water bottle that that's not, that's not important and we got some other stuff shit uh, just some soft cover shit nothing special but yeah i like me my comic books okay now we're in the very bottom now this is not really special unless you're really into manga it's just a bunch of manga we got pokemon black and white manga this is nothing really special we got some of the classic Yu-Gi-Oh and some Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Yeah, one lonely Yu-Gi-Oh R. What Forever. Else? Forever alone. Moving forward to some Yu-Gi-Oh 5D, some Pokemon, some miscellaneous shit that I just impulse buy. Like, well, Ghost Hunt was pretty cool. Even Gillian, I don't know. It's a hard read, in my opinion. We got Shauna. I need to complete that one day. Uh, uh, what's this? What the fuck's this? Fuck. What's this? Uh, a blue DS light box, uh, some Death Note, and other shit. Hey, Norton antivirus. Don't buy that antivirus. That shit slows down your computer. Okay, we're looking at the floor right now. This is a nice floor right here. Look, it's falling apart and it looks very vintage because, you know, the nostalgia shit. And it's pretty cool. And so, moving forward, enough about that floor. Who knows, maybe a like, I might do it and show the floor again. But without further ado, we just got some random CD shit. Nothing really special. Some burn Dreamcast games. Second shelf is nothing important. And then we got some 3DS games. The only 3DS games and some poop DS games that I picked up a while back. Uh, some, some PSP games. Moving forward, it's just more PSP games. I don't have a huge collection. I just picked up a lot once and then that's pretty much it with what I got. Nothing really special. We got some Final Fantasies, the Dissidias, which are pretty cool. Other than that, there's nothing really special. Enough of that shit. Uh, we got some poop DS games here. We got this Danky Kang Mario game, which I don't like. It's poop, in my opinion. Nintendogs. I'm trying to collect all the Nintendo games. I don't know. I just like playing these games once in a while. Got some boring shit. Some Pokemon. Some uh, sealed Aragon's Quest for some reason. I don't know why. It's only $2.50. Uh, Sonic Chronicles, which is a decent game. Sonic Rush, I'm not a huge fan of. I don't know. I just thought the dual screens didn't help the enjoyment of playing that. Metroid, some Final Fantasies, Elite Beat Agents. I like this game, but I suck at it. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Puzzle Quest, dope game. Some Castlevanias, which is pretty cool. And Resident Evil DS. This was one of my most wanted DS games of all time. Finally have it. It's a decent game. It's nothing really special. Hoping to get the Metal Gear Solid 3 3DS game one day. Who, who knows? Maybe somebody can give me a deal. A couple of big box DS games I got was just the Pokemon ones. They're pretty dope because they had the Pokemon Walker. And I thought that was one of the best box sets of Pokemon shit that came out and that I own. And some other shit, some uh, Japanese Code Veronica, which is pretty cool because it has a red sleeve. I oh, don't know, I just bought it one day, Impulse Buy. So I got some PS1 games and some more PS1 games that are just, yeah, you can read through them. I'll go slowly on them. Nothing crazy, but it's pretty cool. Hey, we're back. I had to reset the camera because it's getting too long. Hopefully I don't make this video too long and hello, I'm back. So what we got here is just random knickknacks. We got some memory cards. We got more memory cards, some Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy games. Let's keep where all my handheld stuff, retro handheld stuff is, is that I got some loose DS games here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. This is nothing really special. It's just my PC that I picked up. 
a year ago and nothing special it's just a nice screen with some anime boobies anime boobies anime boobies <laughs> okay so we're gonna go a little bit faster now so here are my 64 games i would show you them there's nothing really special i got some turox uh uh, Mario 64, Smash Brothers, just essential stuff. Donkey Kong. We got some manga, gaming related manga. It's a Street Fighter, Captain Commando, some K-On, one of my favorite series of all time. Ghostbusters uh, Metal Book. Some random miscellaneous DVDs. Nothing crazy. Just look at all that. One more pan, and that's pretty much it. Hey, we're looking at the ceiling. That's a nice ceiling, but enough of that. So we got some cups here, some Star Wars, the Force Awakens cups, which is pretty cool. Remember Subway was promoting this and I had to buy so many goddamn subs because I kept on getting fucking BB-8s and they didn't have enough fucking of the other cups. So it took me a while to get all of them, but I eventually got them. We got a Goof Troop soundtrack and a Yu-Gi-Oh binder. And the creme de la creme of my collection is my PS2 games. Now I've accumulated over 250 plus games, I think. I picked up a whole bunch within the year. Picked up some really good ones like Obscure. Just pan over them quickly. Who knows if someone wants to see a full PS2 collection video, I'll go through them individually. For now, you could just look through all of them. It's pretty dark there, but yeah, there's some more PS2 stuff. And I got more PS2 stuff for the pickups video. And a couple cool box sets, the Devil May Cry Essentials, and the Metal Gear, and the Persona, which are pretty dope. And up here is just some miscellaneous shit. The Army Bucket from Toy Story 1, or Toy Story in general. Got an Alien Queen, a giant Yu-Gi-Oh poster thing, Spider-Man Cup, Seinfeld box set, Stick of Truth, Batman Arkham City, I don't know if you can see that, I apologize, Guardians of the Galaxy Collector's Cup, a couple Yu-Gi-Oh tins, Pokemon Sorry, and my hat. Now this is something I did not feature in my previous room tour video, but it's my retro video games and well, I have a good amount of them. Nothing crazy like rarity. I have a, a Mario RPG. I think that's pretty much my rare thing to have. And I have a Game Chaser Season 3 Collector's Edition signed. Some NES games. Surprisingly, I don't have a lot of NES games because, well, NES is not my favorite system. But I have a few games that I picked up throughout the year. And next to my loose cartridges, I have box stuff. Nothing super crazy i got a rye star complete in box which is pretty dope and i have some box 64 stuff pretty cool i think under that i think that's a resident evil 2 or i'm not sure if the camera helper can help me move this guitar hero thing there we go two or three and we got a box jurassic park which is pretty dope tetris 2 Moving down is some deck boxes for cards. We got my Weezilzils games. Escape on Bug Island was my White Whale and the Wii collection that I wanted to get. Uh, GameCube stuff. Some PS4 stuff, Blu-rays and more Blu-rays. Some Wii U games I picked up a while back. Some Sega CD games I picked up. And Dark Souls 3s because that's out for some reason. Well, because I've been playing it. But enough of that. Down here is some boring DVD shit that I don't think anybody will care. The Sailor Moon VHS. Up here we got a What If comic of What If Daredevil Killed Kingpin. Which I don't know why. If that comic could be moved, we have PS3 games. Nothing really crazy, just look through them. We got some Steelbook video games there, some Blu-rays. Some more PS3 games, some box stuff for PS3. Up here is some more PS3 stuff, nothing really crazy. If I'm going fast, I apologize, I'll just do it one more time. And moving up, there's some 360 and Xbox stuff. 
I don't have a whole bunch of it, but I have some stuff there. Now we're looking at a brown part of the shelf for some reason, I don't know, but what's on it is mainly my anime DVD stuff. I have some Pokemon, Pokemon movies, some random anime volumes. I don't have the craziest anime DVD stuff. It's mainly because it's super expensive here. Even DVDs at conventions are just a pain. That's pretty much it. But above it is my anime figures and model kits that I built throughout the year. And my Daruma, which I haven't colored the other eye yet. Well, because I didn't color it yet. And we got some Funkos of Sailor Moon. I'm missing the Hot Topic exclusive. Somebody can hook me up with that. And I have some more figures here. Nothing crazy. I want the Metal Gear figures pretty dope of Meryl. Evangelion. Some random miscellaneous. Car captors. I'm so happy to grab those. Model kits that I just currently finished. Which are pretty cool. We got Shell Gnome. That's pretty dope. And a Nanoha. Which is pretty cool. And other than that, there's some posters here and there. Nothing really crazy. We got this giant wall scroll. And behind the wall scroll, well, you'll see in a sec. And behind the wall scroll, there's nothing really crazy. Some A water bottle exclusive to Canadian because it's Canadian water. And we got some box PC stuff. The boxes to my figures and model kits and my collector's editions for games. It's kind of hard to see there, but my toppers for collector cups, which are pretty cool. Apologize if you can't see with the glare or it's just too dark. It's just some Yu-Gi-Oh boxes that I kept when I opened packs. A shitty Sonic Boom toy. Yu-Gi-Oh tin, some packs. A cool dual disc, which is pretty dope. And behind this Balsasaurus, or Brawlosaurus I mean, is my only boxed Game Boy stuff. Nothing really special, got a silver Wario Land and a Sword of Mana which is pretty dope. Dope cover, I don't have the game yet. I'm trying to get it, hopefully one day. And lastly what I'll show you is the current systems that I have hooked up. I have my Dreamcast, my Genesis, my PS2 because well I like PS2. And my PS4, and a couple of controllers, the Wii Zizzle, which is pretty cool. And under the controllers is pretty interesting. It's issue one, or I mean issue two, or I don't know. It's, well, it's one, issue two. Yeah, whatever she said is my Parappa the Rappa cover because, well, I like Parappa the Rappa. Because, well, you gotta believe. Hey, we're back in the beginning. Well, that's pretty much it. And a good amount of stuff. It looks a little bit different from last year. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the room tour. If you want to ask any questions of what you saw, if you want to see something or you want me to talk about something, feel free to leave in the comments below. But I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.